guys, YouTube is uh, a wild ride. It's uh, Lately, it's been really hard to find the motivation to upload videos. I don't know, maybe it's because I sold the M4 and I live in the mountains and there's not really a car scene for me to film right now, so it's really tough to get content. So um, yeah, it's, it's, it's low key kind of depressing because YouTube was a big part of my life a few, a few months ago, so I, I miss uploading a lot. I miss being around uh, BMWs and cars and filming a ton of crazy shenanigans. So uh, yeah, if uh, anybody that wants to get into YouTube guys, just, you know, do it because it's a passion, do it because you love it, and just uh, try your best to uh, film what you like and what you wanna showcase to the world. So yeah, I uh, just wanted to say that real fast because yeah, I've been feeling a little weird in my head about YouTube, but it's part of life, it's part of the journey. Oh, what is up guys? What a beautiful little uh, evening ride this has been on my longboard. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to come on this longboard, or I used to come on this, it's a bike path, but I would obviously take my longboard on it and ride on it with all my friends. So uh, yeah, super fun to be back on this path. It's just like nothing beats summertime in, in Silverthorne, Colorado. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed some of those cinematic shots and me riding around a little taste of what I like to do other than cars. Well, I don't have a car right now, so technically my longboard is the only set of wheels I have right now. So yeah, we'll do some cinematography with the longboard while we have it, so fun stuff. Yeah, but uh, as you can tell by the title of this video, I flipped my second car, bought it off a of marketplace. It was a 2013 Mercedes C250. Um, complete opposite of a BMW. It was my first time ever buying a Mercedes, but I bought that Mercedes on Facebook for 7,300, and we were able to make close to two grand profit, so I did document some of the process of buying the car and uh, doing a little bit of work on it and then selling it, so uh, yeah, we're gonna break that down. But yeah, guys, flipping cars is fun it's exciting there's there's an adrenaline rush to it I definitely uh, recommend it if you're looking for a side hustle and you got a decent amount of cash saved up it's been able to make me a couple thousand dollars and put it in my pocket so uh, in my last video I talked about how I flipped a 1997 Pontiac Trans Am uh, that was a fun one I really liked that car we did have uh, some hiccups with it so make sure to check out that video to see what all went down with that car but let's talk about this Mercedes so um, Mercedes it was a pretty clean car you know I found it on Facebook marketplace I uh, talked to the, the, the seller, everything made sense to me, went ahead and drove down to the next city over and I, yeah, checked it out, test drove it, definitely uh, noticed that it needed some work as far as spark plugs because there is a, a little bit of a misfire happening and then it had some uh, damage done to the bumper so uh, I was able to take his uh, original asking price of 8,500 and bring it down to 7,300. So um, funny thing is there is actually another guy looking at the car while I was looking at it and we had a bid war. He said seven grand and I said 7,300 and I was able to win the car and buy it right there. So right after buying the car, uh, I took it to a car wash. The thing was filthy. Normally I never buy a car that's that dirty. You were. I mean, it, it had not been washed in like months, so we got it all cleaned up. It looked really nice. All right, guys, just bought this like $3 towel from the vending machine over there, but I've got the Mercedes all cleaned up. The paint's actually in really good condition. Normally, I wouldn't buy a car that's covered in that much dirt because it can hide a lot of dents and hail damage and whatnot, but this car is extremely clean. The only issue is this bumper has been hit, but nothing that uh, some black touch-up paint can't fix, so that's the least of my worries. Other than that, the car is in great condition. Look at that interior, guys. I'm pretty excited about this. We're about to, I literally just bought this car an hour ago, took it to the car wash, and now I'm taking it to a dealership to go get it appraised, and we'll see if they'll uh, offer me some good cash for it. Dealerships have been selling these cars for about 
15 to 17 grand with this condition and with these miles. So who knows, maybe we can get at least 10 grand for it. We only got it for 7,300. So that would be a good payday. The nice black paint. And uh, I wanted to test my cards. I wanted to test my luck. I took that car straight to a dealership and I tried uh, uh, selling it to the dealership for, for some profit. I wanted to be, I wanted to try to do the quickest flip I can out of fun, out of uh, an experimental purpose. So took the car to a dealership. They looked at it, test drove it. They asked me how much I would sell it to them for. I said nine grand maybe. Yeah, so they ended up uh, saying no to me because it had a, uh, a California title. So uh, obviously I'm in Colorado and they didn't want to buy the car until it was registered in my name, which makes sense. So it was fun trying to sell it to a dealership the same day I bought it, but I knew that I wasn't going to get that lucky. So I took the car back home and we got to work. Man, it is so beautiful out here. I'm like enjoying myself a ton right now. You guys need to come out to the mountains if you've never been out here. There's a bug crawling on me as I say that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I took the car home, guys. I went ahead and put some new spark plugs in it. And I'll play some clips for you guys. We did spark plugs, uh, and those things were definitely toasted. Uh, I went ahead and got black touch-up paint, which came with the car, so that was a plus. Touched up that rear bumper, made it look a lot better. This touch-up paint actually came with the car. I found it in the trunk. So I'm gonna try a little bit and see if it matches this black. And uh, we'll go from there, but hopefully this cleans up this bumper. All right, guys, just got it touched up. Obviously, you can still notice there was damage, but it's not as bad anymore. So looks much, much better. And then I did the deepest deep clean of the engine bay and made that engine look spotless. And to me, the car looks good. I got rid of the check engine light, it ran fine. I was ready to put that thing up for sale. So I listed it for 10 grand. Remember, 7,300 is what we paid for and I listed it for 10 grand. So uh, let's see how that went afterwards. So about two days of it being up for sale, I had a decent amount of messages and interest on the car. Um, I went ahead and scheduled a meetup time in the same city that I bought the car was a potential buyer. Went ahead and met up with them. I was dumping rain that day. So all the detailing I, I did to the outside, gone. It was covered in water spots, but um, yeah, I met up with this guy and and it was honestly the weirdest experience of my life. Uh, <laughs> he was super bad at communication. I didn't think he was gonna show up at this point. This guy had me waiting, then he changed locations and said meet here, meet there, meet there. Confusing me the whole time, so I was stressed out. Um, eventually, we were able to meet up and we met up at this Best Buy. He pulls up, gets out, doesn't even acknowledge me or the car walks into Best Buy and buys a PlayStation 5. <laughs> Comes out, throws it in his trunk, and then he's like, all right, let me see this Mercedes. I'm like, what is happening, <laughs> dude? What is going on? He just like gets out of his car and ignores me and buys a PlayStation 5 and then comes up to me. So that was a little weird. So this guy's taking a look at the car. Um, he's pretty cool. He wants to take it for a test drive and uh, let me tell you guys, I genuinely was scared for my life. <laughs> this guy was going like well over 100 miles an hour, cutting through traffic, super sketchy, like red lighting the engine, like blasting the AC, like putting the car through living hell. And I was like, dude, we gotta chill out, man. Like, let's get back to the parking lot. You know, let's talk about what you think about the car. I just want this guy out of the car. If he's gonna be driving like that, he better buy it. So anyways, anyways we get back and about an hour later, because he just kept talking and talking and talking. I was like, hey man, are you gonna make me an offer? Because I do have another guy who wants to look at it. Um, the guy ended up offering me nine grand. And I was like, huh, I think we got ourselves a deal. We shook hands right there and I sold the car for nine grand two days later after buying it. So let's wrap this up, guys. I bought the car for 7,300. Put a little bit of work in it. Uh, ended up selling the car for 9,000. And uh, yeah, total profit was 1,700. Now spark plugs cost me about 40 bucks. 
gas I'd say was about I put a full tank it was about a hundred dollars with all the driving I did in it so um, I made about close to sixteen hundred dollars profit just under sixteen hundred so I mean if you ask me two days of work and I got paid you know over fifteen hundred bucks that's not bad that's not bad so uh, that was my second flip I was able to make money. Um, it went a lot smoother than the first time I flipped my car or the other car. So I'm really happy with how that all went down and I'm looking forward to the third flip and I really wanna document this a little more, like every part of the process rather than me doing all this talking. So um, I hope you guys are enjoying these videos of watching me uh, make money, flip cars, do all this. And yeah, it's honestly really fun. and. Uh, I'm learning a lot through the whole thing, so none of this would have been possible without me having to let go of my absolute dream car, which was the BMW M4, but you know, you gotta make some sacrifices to grow, so that's what we're doing. I am going to enjoy the last bit of sunlight that we have today on this Monday afternoon. Ride my longboard a little bit, go get some dinner, and enjoy some of this, uh, nature we got going on out here so I hope you guys enjoyed this video remember I am hustling I'm grinding I'm working hard towards my goal of buying another M car and also I'm trying to buy a house so let's see how it all goes hopefully I can wrap up all these big goals by the end of this summer and we can keep on moving and have a new car for the channel to build and race and have a lot of shenanigans with so other than that I appreciate you guys for watching and for those of you who are still checking out or <clears throat> who's still checking out my channel, it means a lot, it really does. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Look forward to the next upload. I'm trying to be a little more consistent. Peace out.